It's my honor tonight to welcome one of Massachusetts' own, born in Cambridge and a lifelong resident of Brookline, who has fought for women's rights, human rights, and for our responsible stewardship of our environment. She has been a political activist and an advocate for social and economic justice in her own right. It is my pleasure to introduce a woman for whom I have the greatest respect, the former First Lady of Massachusetts, Kitty Dukakis. I am honored to tell you that she is here tonight to endorse my husband, Mike Capuano. For the United States Senate. We are grateful for her support, her friendship, and her enthusiasm as we kick off 30 days until this important primary election. Kitty is the founder of the United States Holocaust Museum and works extensively with refugees while serving on the advisory board of Mapeno International, an organization that rescues African refugees. Kitty has remained dedicated to public service since her husband, Mike Dukakis, ended his tenure as governor of our great state. She remains devoted to health and safety of children and serves on the board of the New England Center for Children, a school for autistic kids. Kitty has also offered a rare and candid commitment to reshaping the stigma of mental health treatment. And Kitty has a Somerville connection. Her father, the legendary and beloved conductor of the Boston Pops, <laughs> Harry Ellis Dixon, was a Somerville High School graduate. <laughs> Please join me in warmly welcoming this extraordinary woman, Kitty Dukakis. It is wonderful, wonderful to be here with you tonight. I see the faces of many who have fought beside Michael and myself over these many years, now joined by so many new faces in this very special campaign. And I am here tonight because I see in this mic, Mike Capuano, the single most important quality that my Michael brought to public service. The courage to stand up and lead on those issues where leadership matters most. You cannot teach political courage. There is no course at Northeastern University or at the Kennedy School. You either own it or you don't. When George Bush pushed for authority to begin the war in Iraq, most of our leaders said yes. Mike Capuano stood up and said no. When most of our leaders were in a hurry to curtail our civil liberties, 
with the Patriot Act, Mike Capuano again said no. And three of Mike's opponents have done some good things in our Commonwealth. But these times test us, and test us harshly. At such times, we need to turn to those who have already led us, already demonstrated that they have the courage to speak out honestly and candidly about the challenges before us. My Michael spoke to us this way. This Michael, Mike, has already shown us that he will speak loudly for us, no matter what the opposition. These times do not permit on-the-job training. These times demand a leader who will, like Teddy Kennedy, be a firewall in the battle for progressive values and a leader in the fight for all of us. <laughs> Mike Capuano's readiness for this challenge began with his leadership of one of the great diverse cities, Somerville, and, con and continued during his 10 years of accomplishments as a congressperson. He believes that government is not just for the most empowered, but also a tool to raise the opportunities for those who have much to offer, but may need our help to realize their potential. This Mike has a passion and deep commitment to returning people to their jobs. <laughs> and this one so important as we look at another candidate, to making <laughs> health care available to all. <laughs> to helping small businesses and to helping our students find the means to become better educated. I am very, very proud to be here tonight and to endorse Mike Capuano as the next United States Senator from Massachusetts. <laughs> 